Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to a tutorial video today. Now today, I'm going to be showing you how I record my Minecraft Pocket Edition footage, also how I get the best quality when doing so. So the past couple of days I've been recording a lot of Pocket Edition version of Minecraft and a lot of comments left were how on earth do I record it and get good such quality. Well, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I do and hopefully you guys can follow this and make your own videos in no time. So there's two things that I use to do this. Obviously you need your iDevice, it works for iPhone, iPod, iPad and it even works for your Android devices which is brilliant and very smart to do. So the two things I am using is Reflector and Camtasia. Now I'm fully aware there's many other ways out there to record your iPhone, your iPod, your Android devices, etc. But this is the way I use it and it is easy and doesn't take much time at all. Now Reflector, you don't have to buy the full version but I did because I'm recording a lot of footage for you guys. Camtasia, I'm just using a trial version. You can do whatever you want, you can torrent it, I don't recommend that but I'm pretty sure the majority of you don't have like $300 to buy a key for this actual program. So I'm going to be showing you the guys the website. I will have them in the description as well. I'm going to explain to you what Reflector is. I'm also going to be explaining to you what Camtasia is. And so Reflector is a wireless mirroring for everyone. Now this is completely wireless, no wires at all. And it's all done with the AirPlay feature, which I will show you where it is on my iPhone in just a second. Now this only mirrors it, it doesn't record it, so this is what brings it up on your screen. And our Camtasia is a brilliant thing, and as you can see, I'm using this to record this video now, uh, and this is the program itself. It's got everything like record the screen, which is what I'm doing now. Um, it's a great, great, definitely a great software if you can afford it. And if I go to produce and share, then I can share my videos, etc. That's how I do it, which I will show you guys later on. So these are the two programs that I use. Now, how on earth do I get this? Well, Reflector doesn't really come up anywhere else. I just know it's active because it is here on my custom bar. Now, if I grab my iPhone and I slide it up and I hit like pretty much mirror my image, you'll see sooner or later, as you can see, my iPhone popped up. Now, this is just my accessibility that I'm moving right now. So you can see it's got my iPhone at the top. It's got Scott PC and mirroring. Now, if I disable mirroring, it goes off the screen. If I enable it, it should come back. So there you go. That is definitely a great feature. And I'm using no wires at all, which is awesome. Uh, so I've done that. And that, this is where you get it. It's here. It's, it's right here in the bottom right next to where it says uh, airdrop contacts. And you have to double click on reflector for it to acknowledge it. Now, the great thing about this is I'm going to quickly just... I don't know, this is a different key anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can see I've got loads of games on here, uh, and you're probably thinking, how on earth do I get it on my side? Well, for example, if I click on Pocket Edition, it goes on the side as well. Uh, and this is where I start to record my things, and what I do is, if I right click on this, there's a loads of different features. For example, you've got an enter and full screen, and then you've got like exit full screen, which gives you this. You can move it around to wherever you want. Uh, it's got close all connections, it's got frame it. You can do all of these. And obviously it's picked up my iPhone as an iPhone 5. And if you're using an iPod, or it will come up as an iPod. If you picked it up as an iPad, it will come up as an iPad. And you can change all of these different settings to however you like. Now I use dual monitor screening, which is uh, definitely a bonus. And I guess the recording for this is just HD quality, etc. Um, now I'm just gonna quickly Put this back on this side. Let's just go this on the side, just so it's a little bit smaller. Um, just because it's way too big, and I have I like to have it this size. It's just brilliant. Now, after I've done all this, you have to render in Camtasia. You have to render in this. Now, how I do this is you've got to go to produce and share, uh, which I can't do right now because I am recording. But all I do is I render it in this, then it will give me a capture up here, and then after I've done this, the video will be fully rendered. I then pop it into Sony Vegas, which is the main software that I use for every single video, and I do it inside here. Now, the cool thing about this is you can change the size of what you want to record. So you can cut it down to be just these little frames here to the point, uh, which is what I do anyway, which is absolutely amazing. Now, I know I really can't show you in great detail how I do do it because I needed Camtasia to record this video, but I'm simply using Reflector and Camtasia. And if you use these programs before, you'll have no issues at all. I record up to 720p and even 1080p in this quality because it's the best and I just like to bring you guys the best. So hopefully this has helped you out. If you do have any questions at all regarding any of the programs, be sure to leave them down below. But you guys asked for this video and I'm hoping that it does deliver some questions. So hopefully you did enjoy it. Have a great day. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye.